dear learner i am professor ashwini amit chinde from department of electronics and telecommunication kit's college of engineering kolhapur in this video we are going to discuss basic characteristic of satellite networks so let us start with the discussion the different characteristic of satellite networks include satellite network topology types of link and connectivity between the earth station the satellite networks are characterized by their topology it can be meshed star or multi star the types of link they support and the connectivity they offer between the earth stations meshed network topology every node is able to communicate with every other node in figure we can see every node is connected to each other and each node is capable to transmit and receive the signal a meshed satellite network consists of a set of earth station which can communicate one with another by means of satellite links existing or consisting of radio frequency carriers so figure a shows the meshed network topology which includes hub or central node along with different node here we can see star network or star topology in star network each node can communicate only with a single central node often called the hub as shown in figure a so figure a there is a central node and the other nodes are connected to central node all the communication takes place with the help of central node in multi star topology several central nodes are identified the other nodes can communicate only with those central node figure b shows multi star topology which in, which includes three central nodes and the other nodes are connected to these three central nodes a star satellite network consists of earth station which can communicate only with a central earth station called the hub figure c shows the example of star satellite network here we can see there is one hub and through the hub the earth station communicates with the satellite then types of links two types of link can be established through a satellite network one is unidirectional link and other is bidirectional link unidirectional links where one or several stations only transmit and other earth station only receives means communication is only one way in bidirectional links where earth stations both transmit and receive unidirectional links are usually associated with a star topology in satellite broadcast oriented networks bidirectional links can be associated with a star or mesh topology and are required to transport any two way telecommunication services
then next point is connectivity connectivity characterizes the way nodes of a connect network are connected to each other following figure represent the types of connectivity that can be encountered in telecommunication network here in the figure we can see point to point connectivity which is also called as unicast point to multi point connectivity that is multicast point to multi point it is called as broadcast then multi point to point it is called as multiplexing or concentration and the last one is multi point to multi point now in this figure we have two examples of communication services internet access service is characterized by star or multi star topology with multi point to point connectivity where customer traffic goes necessarily through a point of presence that is pop and the other user terminal is connected to the nearest pop of the users internet service provider that is isp then another service is a virtual private network that is vpn service it is characterized by a meshed topology with point to point connectivity or multi point to multi point connectivity it can be also possible in vpn multicast services this service allows for interconnecting different lans of company to form a single lan so figure a and figure b are examples of internet access services and virtual private network services respectively satellite onboard connectivity is again important point it defines how the satellite network resources are switched on board in order to meet the service level connectivity requirements therefore it depends on how the satellite resources that is beams channels carriers etc are recognized on both satellite up and down link primarily on the type of coverage that the satellite system provides in the case of global coverage any user within the coverage can be connected to any other user while in multi beam coverage interconnections of any user within different beams of the covering coverage requires on board interconnection of beams and of the resources allocated to those beams here we have figure which shows the different types of resources that may need to be interconnected on board the satellite they correspond to the different levels of granularity and they imply different types of processing so in this figure we can see there is a beam level which includes many beams then there is a channel level which includes many channel then inside channel we have different carrier levels again this carrier if we look into time domain they have different time slots which includes cells or packet level this cells or packet level can be of fixed size or variable size so let us discuss these levels one by one spot beam that is beam level 
the whole frequency resource allocated to the beam is switched on board. This can correspond to a channel on several channels. Typically, 125 or 250 megahertz in KA band. Then channel, this is equivalent to frequency resource that is classically transmitted through transponder. Typically, 36 or 72 megahertz. Then carrier, in this level, the carrier is transmitted at a frequency varies which varies from few kilohertz to tens of megahertz. This can be an FDMA carrier transmitted by a satellite terminal or earth station or an MF TDMA carrier that is shared by several satellite terminals. The next comes time slot. This corresponds to TDM or TDMA time slot that is time division multiplexing or time division multiple access. The next is burst, packet or cell. This level corresponds to any type of layer 2 packet up to IP datagrams. So, this is time for the reflection spot. What does satellite onboard connectivity defines? Answer of this one. Satellite onboard connectivity defines how the satellite network resources are switched on board in order to meet the service level connectivity requirements. Thank you.